Lambot lang, matulis naman yung... Hi everyone! Welcome to my second vlog. In this video, I am gonna do a room makeover. Since quarantine happened, a lot of us lately have given more importance to our homes. What is a home? A home is having your own sanctuary where you can be, wear, and do anything you want. It's more than just a mere shelter. It should lift you up. Your home is an extension of yourself. I'm redesigning, well actually not redesigning because I'm not going to do anything major but just redecorating a room. A few paints here and there and a few furniture pieces and that's it. The design that I'm going to be doing is a modern boho look. I'm introducing color, pattern, texture to the space. I like it because it feels a bit gypsy and a bit retro. There is softness to it with the curves, the natural materials, and the warm tones of the boho but balances it and breaks the monotony by introducing clean lines through the mid-century modern pieces that I'm gonna put in. So the first thing that I did was clear the room. And I think that that is the hardest part. It's editing and getting rid of your stuff. We're here at Wilkin. I'm just gonna buy paint and some supplies. When buying paint, there are five finishes. There's flat and matte, eggshell, satin, semi-gloss, and high-gloss. Eggshell and matte are not so durable and can get a little bit dirty. Semi-gloss and high-gloss can look a little cheap. So I chose satin, which is in the middle. I'm back here in my room. Um, tinagal ko na lahat ng kalat and what's left is this bed right here. I'm just gonna fix it. That door over there, I'm just gonna refinish it. And then this curtain over here because I'm out of budget and I have no budget for that already. <laughs> and this plywood wall right here. Maybe I'll take it out next time when I redecorate. But not now because I'm doing it all by myself. Lang. So I've already put tape on the corners of the walls that I'm gonna paint on. Um, this wall, I'm not gonna put primer on it na. Um, I've actually painted this wall already before without a primer. So I'm just gonna apply the satin paint directly on the plywood and the concrete. And let's see what'll happen. Um, so I'm gonna skip the primer and start painting. <laughs> So I ran into a bit of a problem yesterday. I didn't like the paint that I bought. That's why it's important to paint on a portion of the wall first before painting the whole wall or buying all the paint that you need. So I went to Home Depot this morning to buy the paint color that I want. It's already 12.20. I started the day early but I needed to do some stuff so I wasn't able to paint this morning. But I'm planning on finishing all the paint jobs today. So now I'm headed to the hardware to get lumber, yung wood slats that I'm gonna install on the wall. So, come with me. Dum, 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 dum. Where do I park? Oh my gosh, it's so full. There's no parking! So, 
I got the wood and then some supplies. Okay, update. So I finished the second coat for the two white walls, but I don't think I'll be able to install the slats today because ang hirap pala maglagari. Um, this one took me about 15 minutes to do it. Isa pa lang yung nalalagari ko. So, I think papagwa ko na lang siya sa iba. And then, mag-move on na lang ako. I'm just gonna take out the bathroom door and maybe sand it and paint it. So, I called for help. Pero wala siyang parking. My hobby. Diyan na lang sa tapat. So, there's my hobby walking. I called for help. Kaya daw niya maglagari. Huh? Ha? <laughs> There's my help. I actually have a circular saw that I use on my projects. Well, not me, but I let the workers use it. I just don't want to use it unsupervised because I don't know how to handle it. time to use this. I borrowed it from my husband. I don't know how to use it yet but I bet it's gonna be easy peasy because I'm gonna attach the door to the door jam. There you go. magazine wrap. It's my first time to DIY something, so good luck to me. Okay, since it's the first time I'm doing these kinds of DIYs, I did the simplest and easiest way I know how. I'll get better. I'll eventually use the right tools and techniques. Now, I'm going to start repairing the headboard. Place the chandelier with a rattan drop light that I got. Pinatay ko na yung breaker sa baba para matanggal ko to. So nahirapan akong tanggalin siya na castress. So it's day I don't know anymore and my husband is here trying to help me get the chandelier out of there. He got it out! Yay! <laughs> yes, yes, there's light! Right now, I'm gonna do the hairpin table desk. And these are all the items that I need to make the table. First off, we have the hairpin table legs. I got this from Shopee for about 1000 something only. For the table top, um, I'm gonna use the fourth plywood. Of course, it's always nice to use solid wood, but for this project, this is only what the budget permits. So, I got this from Shopee for about 400 something only. Someone selling pre cut plywood there. I got the 3 by 2 feet, but I had it cut a little shorter than 2 feet, para mas kasha siya dito. Um, so, if you're a DIYer and you need a smaller, uh, size of plywood, you don't need to buy the whole sheet. You just go to Shopee and 
you know, meron doon. And then, uh, this one, I got a PVC sticker and wood design, if you can see. I'm gonna apply it in this, in the tabletop. It's only 150 pesos, delivery included. Yeah. So I'm gonna start making the table now. Okay. I'm a little bit ago, but I opened everything already and I'm gonna start putting the sticker on the plywood. Okay, so in offset ko siya by 2 inches. And it's done and I'm gonna flip it over. Landmark and H&M Home because H&M Home has nice colored sheets and um, affordable accessories. Okay, so there's this feng shui about putting frames and mirrors over the bed. If it's for a client who believes so, I will gladly follow it. As they say, your house, your rules. So for this project, we have no rules. We like to play on creativity, so we're installing those mirrors to add life to the space. If you like all the furniture and decor pieces that I used for this project, I did a separate video for all the home decor purchases that I did and I will link all the items on that video. I have a small furniture business and most of the furniture pieces that I used are from there. Please follow it on Instagram, it's at homeware.ph and a website link is there as well. I hope you enjoyed this room makeover. If you loved watching it and you feel inspired by it, I hope you share it to your friends so they can feel inspired too. And I will love it and appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. Thanks and see you again!